via butter. Um, and I'll share with you the story of trajectory, as uh, Bernie just hinted. It's actually started 20 years ago. This is my beloved mom. Um, I lost her to non-Hodgkin's lymphoma 20 years ago. Um, when she received her diagnosis, we were told by our oncologist, not the best of news, but don't worry. It's going to be a tough year, but she'll get over it. That was not really the case. She did not respond well to the standard of care. And after line one failed and line two failed, their oncologist took me to a, a meeting and basically said, we need to look at the alternative. And I was just like, OK, what does that mean? He said, at this point, what we have left is let's look at clinical trials. And I said, that sounds good. Where do I find those? And she said, that's the tricky part. I'll ask my colleagues, but maybe you you go to this internet thing. Remember, 20 years ago, it just started. Remember the days that we got connected with a wire and it was like buzzing? So that's, and you're kind of geek, so maybe you can find something. And I spent days and night trying to find something for my mom. By the time I was able to find anything that I thought was, could help her, it was too late and we lost her. That's me, 14 years later. I got my own diagnostic with cancer. And I knew this time I need a better outcome. I had three girls at home. The youngest was one year old. I could not afford not to win over this. And I've been a techie all my life. So I said, OK, there's got to be something else out there. There's been so many years since. I'm going to look for something like TripAdvisor that will kind of help me tell me what's out there for me that can help me. So the first thing I've learned in my own kind of journey and starting to learn about my diagnostic, A, that my odds are not that great. So that was nice to know. Uh, the statistic was not optimistic about it. But then I learned that I need to look at clinical trials, as Bernie mentioned, that the best outcome these days, and, and few have mentioned it here today as well, there's so much innovation coming into the play. There's, unlike the days of my mom that you would go to clinical trials when everything else failed, this is actually frontline now. There's so much innovation and options out there. So I knew I was looking for that. But where do I find them? So I started looking around, and those of you who have been patient know the experience. You spend hours in Google. You find a lot of information. You read a lot about it. You understand some of it. Some of it you don't understand. But it doesn't help you understand truly what are my options, what's relevant for me. And I was referred to second opinion. I was not looking for one. I just wanted to know what my option before I asked for a second opinion. Uh, additional genetic mutation testing advisor that were willing to let me pay them to do the search for me. I was not looking for that either. Um, and then I end up finding the clinicaltrials.gov, which is the FDA database of all clinical trials. And I started searching it. But that was a terrible experience, I must admit. There were so many options there. And the medical terms were so complex. And there was so much what they call eligibility criteria. And I didn't know. So what does it mean? Is that right for me or wrong for me? So I was still confused. And I started my journey in my own, we live in New Jersey. Uh, so I went to one oncologist clinic and I spent three hours in the waiting room, something a lot of us are familiar with. Waited to meet this oncologist that hopefully will be able to tell me what are my options because I failed doing it by myself. Um, I walked in, he spent a total of five minutes with me, told me again my odds were not great, thanks, I know it. Tell me we need to find out if metastasized to the brain. OK, we can do that. That's a good start. But then what's next? I'm a very practical kind of female lady, as you notice. I need to know my options. And then he said, well, maybe there is one trial that you could be right for. Not sure yet. We'll see. And I was just like, who? Hold on. What do you mean one? So out of everything out there, there is only one option for me right now? My, what is it exactly? Can you share details? And he was just like, no, no. We'll talk about it after you come back. So obviously, I left and never came back. And as Bernie hinted, I went to Memorial Slow Catering. Right? I live by New York. It's considered to be the best place. I'll go there. I went there. I spent less time in the waiting room, but still quite a lengthy time. Went in and saw this amazing oncologist who suddenly said, well, I have three clinical trials you might be right for. I said, well, great. I tripled my odds. So what are those? And after he explained those, I, I asked a very simple question. OK, so those three options that you just proposed to me, those are the best out of everything out there? Or am I supposed to go now and shop MD Anderson, Dana Farber? I don't have time for shopping. Tick tock, I've got cancer. Time is clicking. And even if I had time, how do I choose? 
And he was brutally honest and basically said, listen, unfortunately, those are not the best out of everything outdoors. Those are the best in Memorial, but even more than that, those are the best, are those in Memorial that I'm involved with. So I'm getting a subset of a subset of a subset. As a patient, it's a concern, right? When you want to travel, I, just, I don't just go to the United app. I search kayak. I search TripAdvisor. I want to know all the options. I want to know all the time. I want to know all the costs. Why is a patient, when it comes to the journey, for my life, I don't have that option? So make the short story, make the long story short, I did end up with three different trials. The first one did not work. Second one semi-worked. The third one worked like a charm. And I've been NED disease free for two and a half years now. Um, I decided that that was good for me. Now we need to solve this. And there is a reason everyone needs to find meaning out of this cancer journey, right? So we find meaning in God. We find meaning in changing our life habit, balance. I'm not the kind to find, you know, to start doing yoga and meditation. I'm the kind to take my knowledge in technology and see how we can solve this big problem for others. And that's why we just started Trajectory. Out of truly believing that advanced treatment should not be privileged. Advanced treatment should be available to everyone. And knowing that right now the hurdles or the barrier to find your different treatment option are not due to the lack of willingness of physician or agendas. There might be some of those, but I think truly the problem is the volume and the complexity. I don't think the physician I met did not want to present me with more options. He didn't know them. There is 100,000 running oncology trials right now. It's a huge volume of clinical trials. There's over 5,000 approved FDA drugs out there. It's a huge volume. We cannot expect anyone to be familiar with all of them. It's insane. And when you look and when you deep dive into really understanding how we can match between the right treatment to the right patient, you realize there's so many attributes, parameters that come into play. You need to look at the disease, right? What kind of disease? What's the subtype? Where is it located currently? Where did it start at this size? We need to know its genetic profiling, its biomarkers. We need to know the patient treatment history and any side effects overall health condition that might impact. So when you think about it, there's so much to take into account. The more we know about cancer, then we can be more precise in treating it. And they're looking, you know, Ilan mentioned the subtype and the subtype. That's the whole point. We learn more about cancer. So there is definitely more, then it means there is more options. So matching cannot be just the profession of the physician. He needs help. And the way to solve it, and the way we solved it in trajectory is exactly around that. We developed what is called AI, artificial intelligent machine. So, kid you not, it's not intelligent. So everyone who's afraid that, you know, computers or robots will take over the world or any kind of profession, that's not the case. What the artificial intelligent the machine can do better than humans is run through a lot of data points. So that's what we can do. So if we have 100,000 running clinical trials, with each one of them has around 40 different eligibility criteria per patient, we can have a machine that browse through all of them, learn them, and understand them. How does it learn them? We explain it to them. So now we know what they're looking for, and we need to match it with a patient profile. And a machine can help do that, because that's a simple, it's not a simple, it's a complex, but it's a search. And our mission was to take out of the discussion what's out there for me, because that should not be the question. We need as patient and as a phys an oncologist to spend the time thinking what's best for me as a patient. And if we want to focus on what's best for me, we need to take out what's out there for me from the table. And that's what the machine that we've built is able to do. So I'll just give you some feeling of what trajectory, if anyone wants, they can log into trajectory.com and see it yourself. So basically we build a platform, like I told you, my trip advisor, that help you once you log in any patient oncologist, an RN, caregiver, it doesn't matter, can use that. And that's the point. When we were building it, they asked us, who is it for? And we said, for everyone. They said, but if you're building for something for a physician, it needs to be different than a patient. And we said, no, that's the whole point. We democratize. We're all a team fighting cancer. We democratize access to information in order to have a conductive conversation around it. 
So they need to, we can choose what type of indication we have. And then basically we go, a patient or whomever fills it, go through a very smart questionnaire. The purpose of the questionnaire is to collect the information that I've mentioned before. What type of diagnostic, what type of history of treatment, side effects, in order to compare it to what the different treatments are looking for. And we build that in a smart way, that the system generate those questions, but based on your input. So you don't feel like a static report of 100 questions, you answer 25 questions. And as you give those input, the system already compare it to what the treatments are looking for. So at the end of this process, you can actually end up by being matched to the relevant trials. So in five minutes, we took out the question, what's out there to me, for me, and we bring it back to, this is what's there, now share with your physician if you did it as a patient. Now share with your patient if you did it as a physician. Now discuss what's best for me. Do I want to start aggressive? Do I want to start less aggressive? More side effects, less side effects. Whatever is right, rather than what's ever out there. So that's the story of trajectory. I think what's important also to note about it, first of all, it's 100% free. I don't know how many of you know, but the industry of oncology drugs is a $200 billion industry. It's enormous. It's unbelievable. That on one hand. On the other hand, cancer diagnostic is one of the number one uh, reason for personal bankruptcy. So patients that have to stop work, not necessarily have the best coverage, having hard time financially to, to deal with it. So I think I told you one of the things I kept being referred to people that will advise me for additional money and help me find the alternative option for me. So one of the core value for us, it's 100% free for patient. It's HIPAA compliance. There's no obligation. We're focusing on oncology. Uh, and we have a service that helps patients if they've gone through it and let's say they thought this makes sense, their oncologist thought they make sense, then help them connect with the trial. So we connect them. We help answer any question. We help them understand where there is different uh, option for additional financial help if there is travel involved and others. So really helping the patient mitigate any concern that they have so they will have access to the best treatment that is out there. We've been live uh, a year, more or less. We teach the machine, and I refer to her as female because she's very smart, indication by indication. Uh, so we started with melanoma, we moved to CRC, breast cancer, MDS, we're now doing uh, bladder and AML, but we already have almost 3,000 patients that fill their profile and use our system. We have uh, over 670 people that are now in the process of applying and finding clinical trials for themselves. We have, uh, like you see, now it's actually higher from this weekend. I think it's almost 60 patients that actually joined trials that gave them hope and option when they not necessarily had this. So I'm, I'm very proud of what we were able to do in building it. And I think what I'm trying to say is something that Bernie said before and, 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 and you said as well, and everyone will keep repeating it. I think as patient, we cannot sit passively and expect this to go away or our physician to do all the work for us. We, need to, we have an active role, and the research is showing that patients that are active, not physically active, but also actively involved in managing their journey, get better outcome. It's not surprising. You're engaged, you take ownership about what's going on with you, and you take the lead. And I think if we do that, if we own our journey, and we partner with our physician, we don't just expect with the little time they have with us, they'll have all the answer. We help them find the answer. We come to them with information that is relevant, not just long list of Google doctor that usually are nonsense and would just waste our time, but something that is meaningful and relevant. We can make decisions together that will help us win over cancer. And that's the point of it all, right? So that's it. Thank you so much. Thanks.